Hey guys, my name is Ray Dale Dower. I'm an artist and a musician. I work in a number of different ways. I think of my work as sculptural, but I don't always make sculpture. I work with film and sound and object and space to create sculptural installations that evolve over time. I also like to make work that includes elements of chance, performance or gesture. In the past, I have created a temporary artist cafe I've given artwork away for free, and I've also dropped a piano from the ceiling of a theatre space. Today we're going to look at the idea of ready-made sculpture. I'm going to capture that sculpture in movement using GIF animation. The idea of the ready-made originates with the French artist Marcel Duchamp. What Duchamp did was to consider the potential of everyday objects as artworks in themselves. I've recreated Duchamp's first ready-made from 1913. Duchamp created his ready-made bicycle wheel by combining two everyday objects. At first glance, it might look like quite an absurd combination. I feel it creates an interesting sculpture with an added dimension of movement. And it's that movement I'd like to capture in my GIF. You'll need to choose your ready-made. This could be any object or combination of objects you have at home that you find of interest. Think about the shape, the form and potential for movement. It doesn't have to be an object. You could be your ready-made. To make a GIF, you're going to need to download an app onto your phone. I'm going to talk you through the process using an app called 5 Second GIF, which is free to download but the principle is the same across all the other apps too. A GIF is a short looped piece of video or a sequence of images. A key thing to think about when making GIFs is that they will loop. So it's worth thinking about how it's gonna start and end or how your loop will connect. You can make a GIF from either video or photographs. First, we're gonna look at making a GIF from video. I've got the camera set up here on video, or oh, I've got my phone camera set up here on video. We frame the, the wheel with uh, light capturing on the spokes. We spin, step out of shot. Once you've got your movie, press stop, and we're going to look at that. So we go into five second GIF. And we use the plus sign here to make a new GIF. We're going to be making it from a video. So we go video from library. And then we select our videos. So this is the footage we shot of the bicycle wheel. Now one thing to be aware of is that we've shot a long video and we only need a little bit of it. So actually what we have to do is we have to scroll through the video until we get to a bit that we like. So I think we need a bit around about there. We're spinning nicely there. Now, these white bars at the edge, this is for trimming the video. You pull them in to make your loop. You see that's looping. It feels like it's slowing down slightly. I think to make this as smooth as possible, I'm going to make it shorter. That to me looks quite good. Maybe the speed could be slowed down a little bit. I feel like that has continuous motion. Let's save it. And finally, and this is probably what you want to do, is when you have a gift that you're happy with, you might want to share it with someone, you use this send button here and share. You can share a GIF. I'm going to send this to Duncan Marquis, who's editing the video. Hello, Duncan. He will get to see this soon enough. So there you go. So that's it. We've made a GIF from video and we've sent it to a friend. So now we're going to create the GIF by shooting a sequence of photographs. To do this you will need a flat surface, 
and your object. Remember that as this GIF is going to loop, we want to think about the beginning and the end of the sequence. So in this case, we're going to start on this surface, we're going to spin the object, and we're going to finish on that surface, the same surface we started on. I'm going to show you how to set up these crosshairs here. I'm calling them crosshairs, they're just markers that give me the center point of the object, and this helps me to uh, have a reference point because we're going to try to make this spin. I'm using a tripod, gives me a steady shot. So I frame my shot in the center of the guide marks you've made. And what I've done is I've zoomed in a little bit so that we lose the reference marks. We've cropped the picture so we can't see them, therefore our reference only. So first shot. Now you see the shot, we're using the, the, we're using the marks to keep our box steady in the center. And that's us back to the beginning. Here we are in the five second GIF app again. And we're going to make a new GIF. Photos from library. Recent photos. So there you go. Here's the boxes we just shot. So we're going to select. Very simple eight shot sequence. Done. Possibly speed it up a little bit. And now we have a spinning box. Oh, effects, this is what I'm looking for. So we can make it a black and white. It's always nice to look at stuff in black and white. Save that. So there's our black and white GIF of a spinning box. Okay, that's us for today. I hope you've enjoyed the workshop. Hopefully you might have a bunch of GIFs to send to your friends. Remember, always experiment, be creative, enjoy yourself. And thank you for watching.